Hey everyone, and welcome back to this channel. And I'm back with a podcast roundup of the year. Podcasts of 2022 that I have loved this year, that I have discovered this year. I'm such a lover of podcasts. We don't have a TV in the house. We haven't had one for like two years. And so when I wanna have like background noise, when I want to have something playing, I wanna hear some voices, but I don't want to watch something um, on my laptop, like I'll just put some podcasts on um, and I absolutely love it. I feel like it's such a nice way to absorb information, learn, but also just be entertained whilst on the go. So I've got some podcasts today. I have, how many have I got today? I've got eight podcasts for you guys that are a nice range of podcasts that you can learn something new, you can be entertained, you can go away feeling inspired and excited and rejuvenated and that is the aim for when I listen to podcasts. Okay, the first one is called The Art of Charm, and these are all podcasts, by the way, that I mostly discovered this year. It's called The Art of Charm, it's hosted by two guys, and it's all about the human dynamic, about relationships, and how to be like a really high performer. Um, a recent listen that I listened to was about engaging in small talk, so I'm just checking it out, <laughs> um, what I listened to recently. Um, engaging in small talk, and it's actually, it's actually really good, because it told me like it gave me some tips about how to engage in small talk. And one of the things that um, one of the hosts said is that complimenting someone is a way to start or like begin in small talk because complimenting someone is a lovely way that you can sort of, you know, say, oh, your hair looks nice or I love your outfit, I love your earrings, be genuine. Like they were saying that no one doesn't like to hear someone compliment them, right? Like everyone loves it someone saying something nice about them. So be genuine about it, don't be creepy about it, and then you can start the conversation from there. Another tip they said was to be vulnerable. So like, if you know, if you're standing there and you're trying to engage in some small talk and being like, I'm so nervous today, oh my gosh, it's such a big event, like I'm really nervous, like how, how about you? And just being really vulnerable because it shows that you are open and you're not trying to be someone that you're not. And that's another way that you can kind of like open other people's boxes and get talking and things like that so yeah i really enjoy this podcast and um, they are not that long i think how long was this one okay maybe they are long about an hour long it doesn't feel that long like it felt like i i just listened to it in one go but about an hour is enough time for me to kind of sit down um and just get on with something and listen to a podcast in the background okay the second one is called the digital sisterhood and this is actually one that was recommended to me by someone i can't remember who it was on instagram i asked um, any podcast, any recommendations, and this one came up so much, I, I just had to check it out. I, I can't remember when it was, it must have been around the summer this year that I discovered it. Um, and it's actually a storytelling podcast. It's a podcast um, whereby there are different guests who come on and tell their stories about like their life um, and what they've gone through. It's usually quite traumatic. Um, and there was one that was trending recently. It was uh, called Her Name Is Hannah, and it was trending all over, I think, the world. And the podcast was like number one in the UK. Um, such a hard listen. It's about mental health. Um, so difficult to listen to. I definitely recommend like being at home when you listen to this podcast. But it was really lovely. I feel like I find that I find that like listening to some things where you feel like you're learning about someone else's journey is both inspiring but also awakening in the sense that you can pick up so much about resilience and like how to be a better person and things to look out for and that episode in particular showed me and, and really highlighted like how much our parents have gone through and like how much ethnic parents have gone through like going from coming from like their their lives with their families and everything back home and that all being broken and torn apart and having to move to a country that they don't know anyone and like don't know the language and really having to start afresh like can you imagine doing that with your kids and everything like so difficult and um yeah it was really like inspiring and, and a really emotional listen for sure but i'd highly recommend the podcast still okay the third one is called working hard hardly working and this is a podcast by grace beverly if you guys know um grace but i mean i'm sure you know her i'm a huge fan of, of everything she does i really love the way that she transitioned from like being a social media influencer um, being in the academic space, so she was vlogging her journey and her experience at university and then being a business owner, I love that, I love like the transition, I love like all the tips that she shares and I've also bought her book so <laughs> I'm a huge fan. Um, and she's got a podcast and she interviews, uh, she has her guests who she interviews and they are all mostly business owners, founders and she just speaks about the back, the behind the scenes and like what happens in the background and what you don't see and like the journey and I really enjoy those kind of podcasts. I do listen to quite a few of those like entrepreneurship journeys. I haven't really shared many 
of them today because I've shared them in the past. Um, but I like having a female host because I feel like the guests that she brings on are different um, as opposed to like when you've got male hosts, you tend to bring male guests where she's a female. So I like listening to other women and seeing like how they, how they kind of get through like motherhood and like um, the different the different nuances that come with that. Um, a recent listen that I listened to was uh, by with Candice. I think it's called she's called Breath. Is it Breath White? Candice Breath White. I pronounced that correctly. Um, she spoke about being transparent online, being a mom, um, mom influencer, and like what happened and like um, how she's like taking her kids into like private school and that experience as being a black woman and things like that. So it's quite nice to listen to. I do follow. Candice on TikTok, I think, as well as Instagram, possibly. So yeah, it was nice to hear from her. And she's a kind of guest that like those other podcasts won't have um, for reasons I don't need to say out loud. So it's nice to have this podcast that brings in a more variety, brings in more variety and um, yeah, diversity to these kind of discussions. Okay, the next one is a diary of, is it a diary? A diary, yeah, the diary of a CEO. Um, and this is a podcast I discovered maybe the start of this year, maybe like the late last year, but I actually discovered it on YouTube. Um, I had a recommendation from one of the episodes called, uh, from the happy expert, the happiness expert, Mo Gold, is it Godart? I've written it down. Yeah, Mo Godart. Um, so I've got, I, I, that was a recommendation and it came to my YouTube channel and I watched it, or well, listened to it in the background, but I watched it, um, all about happiness and how to be happy and blah, blah, blah. Um, I recommend it. And then I realized, oh, it's a podcast. I just thought, like it was a YouTube channel that, <laughs> that interviews people. And then I realized it's a podcast and then so many other episodes have like spurred up. I've seen the one with Molly May and Jessie J. I've listened to all of those ones as well. And I find them really interesting because you know, we, we see these like celebrities as these like <sighs> exemplar people or you know, these people in like high positions and they must have perfect lives. They must be so happy, must, must be so like fulfilled. But actually when you hear their stories and you hear like what they've gone through, they, they have it tough, you know, being in the public eye and um, having all these expectations on you and especially at such a young age as well. Don't forget, a lot of these celebrities we see, they're not, they're not 30, they're like in their eight, they're 18, 19, 20 when they rise to fame. So it's a lot to go through at a, young, a very young age. So it's nice to kind of hear from, um, hear from those stories. So yeah, podcast I love. Number five is called The History Hotline. And this is again a new podcast that I discovered this year. Uh, it's hosted by Deanna Lincook and she's actually a PhD student in history at Queen Mary University. Um, and she talks about history, um, mostly her podcast is all about history essentially, but the history that you, they don't teach you in school. Um, so like black history, history from like a black perspective, um, things that are important. So one that I listened to recently was about racism in football, I think it was. And just talking about the aspects of like racism and football and sort of um, what is wrong with football these days uh, and and discussing that from like a black perspective which is really important and the thing that I love about I mean podcast one thing to, about podcasts is that anyone can start a podcast right um, so it's just like any other broadcasting uh, platform you need to be aware of who you're listening to and, and things like that and like what their biases is biases are um, but this is a PhD student and I, I feel like she's someone who um, I would feel comfortable listening to because the, the, her, her background and her um, understanding is from an academic um, viewpoint as well as a personal viewpoint. So I, I really appreciate that. The next one is a podcast called Stuff You Should Know. I think I might have mentioned this last time. I think I might have, but there's a range of different like episodes and they're really short episodes. They're like five, six, seven minutes long. They're, they're not that long. Um, and they're just about a range of different topics. Let me share some with you. I can't remember the last time I actually listened to this one. Um, it's been a while because I like to listen to the a bit longer ones. Stuff you should know. Okay. And then this is, yeah, there's a range actually. There's some that are 10 minutes. There's some that are 40 minutes, one hour. There's a range of different ones, but they're all about random stuff that you should know. And I remember I started listening to this around the time that the pandemic started because they, they were talking a lot about like what it is and how it affects different parts of the world and the economy, et cetera, et cetera, and like flights and everything. Um, and I haven't listened to it recently though, because I found the other podcasts and I fall in love with those ones. But um, yeah, a recent one is, did Shakespeare really, really write all that stuff? Uh, incompetent yawns, <laughs> incompetent, incomplete yawns. That's so funny. Is there anything worse than a yawn you can't finish? <laughs> so funny. I'd love to, I'm gonna listen to that one after this. Anyway, so yeah, um, it's nice. It's nice that you can kind of pick up 
a random topic about something that you probably wouldn't even think about and listen to it, it's quite cool. And on the same uh, vein, TED Talks is one that I've definitely recommended before. Um, I love the TED Talks series because it's hosted, like it's given by different people, so it's presented by different people, um, usually experts in their field um, and they're very short so all their episodes are seven to ten minutes long one or two or 15 minutes but they're really really short and they're just about a variety of topics um, everything from like business entrepreneurship um, science uh, medicine healthcare sustainability like environment literally everything and sometimes like I find that I just want a 10 minute break like I don't like I don't know let's say I'm clean the kitchen like it's gonna take me 10 minutes i just want a 10 minute podcast i don't want a one hour podcast so that's why i like to listen to ted talks just to quickly just like fill in that gap <laughs> okay last but definitely not least is a podcast called archetypes um by megan markle and i love this podcast like I'm, I'm so glad she started it i think it just started this year again yeah um and again she is the host and she has a number of different guests on every episode i think most episodes has have like two guests um and she talks about various different aspects of uh, about females so she investigates the labels that try to hold women back so that could be things like racism misogyny um workplace like whatever anything literally anything um and she speaks about those things and i really love it she's a black woman um she's very educated uh and i love to hear from her because of all of her accolades. It's so lovely to have a woman, like she's so independent of everything else. Like she has her own like position, she has her own experience, like she has her own like history of everything that she's done. Her conversations are so insightful and it really feels like you're part of the, like the chat. It feels like you're talking with her. Um, she's really bubbly, very laughy, da da da. So it's, it's lovely. I listened to a recent episode called The Angry Black Woman, I think it was. No, it wasn't the last one, I think it was the one before the current one, called The Angry Angry Black Woman. Um, and she talks about like, if you were to go on, on Google search and you'd say, why are black women? It will, the automatic search will say things like angry, um, annoyed, da da da. And it, it's essentially her like discussing the fact that why is that what you assimilate? Whereas if it was like a white man being assertive, you wouldn't say that he's being angry. You just say, oh yeah, he's taking control. Like he's really powerful. He's really strong. He's really assertive. He's a good communicator. Whereas when it's a black woman, you'll say, oh, she's so angry. She's so aggressive. Um, and yeah, that, there was that discussion, which was really insightful. It's nice to hear from her talk about these things. Um, but yeah, that's my little list. Um, eight of them. They will keep you busy. Trust me. The nice thing about podcasts is that you don't have to listen to the last episode like you can literally listen to an episode from a year ago two years ago and it's still so relevant so that's why i love it so much and i hope that you enjoyed any other recommendations like you guys know what my list looks like any other recommendations please leave me a comment down below i'm always so welcome like two or three of these are recommendations that i've had from people from either here or instagram when i've asked so i always i'm open to suggestions <laughs> let me know if you have any other recommendations or similar style podcasts and I will see you guys in my next video.